Hi friends! There are two methods to troubleshoot the issue when you get the error message, Windows failed to start. A recent hardware or software change might have caused the issue on your Windows 7 PC after installing updates. Hope you tried the first method shown in part one of this video. If the issue still persists, then here is the second method in which we will use the startup repair feature. Startup repair can detect and fix certain types of system problems that might prevent Windows from starting. There are two ways to run startup repair. To run this feature using the pre-installed recovery options, restart your computer using the power button. If your computer has a single operating system installed, press and hold the F8 key as the computer restarts. You need to press F8 before the Windows logo appears. On the Advanced Boot Options screen, use the arrow keys to highlight Repair Your Computer and then press the Enter key. Select a keyboard layout and then click on Next. Enter the user password and then click the OK button to continue. On the System Recovery Options menu, click Startup Repair. Startup Repair will check for the problems in your system. Once completed, you need to remove any recently attached peripheral device such as a camera or portable music player and then click on Finish. Another way to run Startup Repair is by using the Windows Installation Disk or a System Repair Disk. Here are the steps to do so. Insert the Windows 7 Installation Disk or a System Repair Disk and then restart your computer using the computer's power button. Once you get the message, Press any key to boot from CD or DVD, hit any key on your keyboard. On the Install Windows page or on the System Recovery Options page, choose your language and then click on Next to proceed. If you're using the Windows Installation Disk, click Repair Your Computer. System Recovery will search for OS installed on your PC. Select the Windows installation you want to repair and then click on Next to move ahead. On the System Recovery Options menu, click on Startup Repair. Startup Repair will check for problems in your system. Once completed, you need to remove any recently attached peripheral device, such as a camera or portable music player, and then click on Finish. Now your Windows 7 system will start normally. See? That wasn't hard at all. Thanks for watching. To check out more related tech videos, click here. If you have any query or want to share something with us, click here. To get iOgi tech support, dial toll-free numbers. To stay empowered technically, subscribe to our channel.